If you enjoy the content on this channel, please like and subscribe. Rose is a 2022 American romantic comedy film starring Billy Eichner and Luke McFarlane as two gay men in Manhattan who avoid commitment but are drawn to each other. The film is directed by Nicholas Stoller, based on the screenplay he co-wrote with Eichner and is produced by Stoller, Judd Apatow and Judge Church. Produced under Universal Pictures on a budget of $22 million, it is one of the first gay romantic comedies made by a major studio and has an openly LGBTQ plus principal cast. Rose had its world premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival on September 9, 2022. Universal spent between $30 and $40 million marketing the film and commercially released it in new theatres in the United States on September 30, 2022. The film received generally positive reviews from critics, but it bombed at the box office, grossing just $14 million worldwide against a production budget of $22 million. On the 5th of February 2019, it was announced that Billy Eichner would write, executive produce and star in a romantic comedy film directed and co-written by Nicholas Stoller. Principal photography was set to begin on June 7, 2021 in Buffalo, New York and Provincetown in Massachusetts. Filming subsequently took place in Manhattan and in downtown Cranford, New Jersey. Stoller, who had previously directed Eichner in Neighbours 2, Sorority Rising, which received praise for its depiction of a gay relationship and positive support from heterosexual cisgender male friends, compared to many comedies which use gay panic for laughs. Stoller had also previously directed Forgetting Sarah Marshall in 2008 and The Five Year Engagement, released in 2012. Most of the cast will be revealed on September 23, 2021, while on September 30th, Bowen Yang and Harvey Thurston were revealed to have joined the cast. Benito Skinner also joined the cast, though his role was later cut from the final edit. The film is represented as a gay romantic comedy from a major studio, featuring predominantly LGBTQ principal cast, though the likes of Deborah Messing and Christian Chenoweth were also on the cast, but in smaller roles, playing themselves. Solo, though, called them allies of the community. Rose grossed $11.6 million in the United States and Canada and $3.2 million in other territories, meaning it had a worldwide gross of $14.8 million. Unfortunately, the film would bomb at the box office. Eichner expressed disappointment at the film's box office results, saying that straight people, especially in certain parts of the country, just didn't show up for bros. Zach Scharf and William Earl from Variety countered it in analysis that other factors contributed to the film's poor box office performance, stating that straight people aren't entirely to blame and that many LGBTQ viewers didn't show up to see the comedy in theatres either. While they viewed homophobia as the likely component, they also noted other factors such as lack of interest in the material, a lack of star power, marketing focus on representation over its humour, timing of its release date, competition from anticipated streaming releases such as Blonde and Hocus Pocus 2, and audiences' possible fading interest in Apatow's films. They also noted that more women than expected had shown up to see the film. Following the film's release, Eichner took to Twitter to repel criticism from people celebrating the film's poor box office results, vowing to tweet about the film every day despite critics. The film's trailer was also criticised, almost telling straight audiences that this was not a movie for them. Some also criticised Eichner's strong-arm tactics of shaming heterosexual viewers into seeing the film did not bode well with potential new viewers. T.S. Madison, who had appeared in the sporting role in the film, expressed the opinion that the film's commercial underperformance could be attributed at least partially to people who were willing to see the film nonetheless having misgivings about other people seeing them buy tickets for it in a public theatre, and speculated they would likely perform better on the home streaming platforms where people could view it in their own privacy. Some fun trivia notes. The film repeatedly makes fun of Hallmark movies. Luke McFarlane has starred in over 14 Hallmark movies. Luke McFarlane revealed he had no inhibitions during his sex scenes with Billy Eichner. He would comment that they had an LGBT intimacy coordinator, and he said the only time he felt uncomfortable was when Billy suggested if we should spit on each other. Luke replied, nope, that's not for me, and they decided not to do it. Shortly after its release, a theatre chain told Universal Studios that it wanted to pull the trailer because of the gay content. Universal convinced it not to. Jade Rodriguez was an original cast member of the first early 2000s incarnation of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. In this film, he plays Luke McFarlane's straight brother. As mentioned earlier, the film was a box office bomb. Leading star Billy Eichner tweeted, saying, Unfortunately, this is the world we live in. Even with glowing reviews, great Rotten Tomato scores, and a cinematic score, etc., straight people, especially in certain parts of the country, just didn't show up for this movie. According to director Nicholas Stoller, Exit Data found its audience to be overwhelmingly gay and bisexual men. Luke McFarlane confessed that he hates doing abdominal workouts. Nevertheless, he did over 100 crunches daily for the duration of filming to get his midsection ready for the big screen. Dot Marie Jones played Coach Betsy in Glee. 
This is the first time in which Deborah Messing has played a fictionalised version of herself. Though the primary and secondary cast members are all LGBTQ, director Nicholas Stoller is straight. The film has been heavily marketed as the first American gay romantic comedy from a major studio featuring an entirely LGBTQ plus principal cast, other than Fire Island, released in 2022. But of course Bros was given a wide theatrical release. Although nearly all the primary and secondary characters are played by out actors, three real-life LGBTQ historical figures, James Baldwin, Eleanor Roosevelt and Harvey Milk, are played by straight comedians Keenan Thompson, Amy Schumer and Seth Meyers. Now I found this to be a very delightful film. It's very touching and poignant. And the two leads here, played by Billy Eichner and Luke McFarlane, are excellent in their respective roles and have sublime chemistry. McFarlane plays a very likeable and charming lead here. He's a man's man in many ways and not looking for a committed relationship, but slowly but surely falls for the irrepressible Bobby, who himself is a podcaster, very much out and proud, a loudmouth, an extrovert, and can never really keep his opinion to himself. In many ways, these two men are from opposite sides of the spectrum, but as this old saying goes, opposites attract, and so in turn, Bobby and Erin find a common denominator in their growing love for each other. Look, the film is predictable, and you kind of can see where it's going to go, but it's through the likeable cast, excellent script, that what is put forth is fundamentally just an old-fashioned love story. But the film doesn't shy away, though, from its LGBTQ+, subject matter. It doesn't pretend to be something else. It rather embraces the community, understands it, which adds another refreshing aspect to this really well-made film. I am sorry to hear that a film like this wasn't seen by more people, but of course the subject matter will be taboo for some. I, on the other hand though, thoroughly enjoyed this film from start to finish. Is it groundbreaking? By no means. But it's fun, light, enjoyable and well acted, and tells the story of two men who find love in a very complicated life and manage to move forward with their emotions and deal with each other in their respective manners. This is a bold and likeable film that I'd highly recommend to anyone looking for a good story with some good acting, a tight script, leaving you with a film that will be both entertaining and introspective. Bros gets a 9 out of 10.